how to SEO your WordPress website to get thousands more visitors guys <laughs> SEO what is it search engine optimization so that your pages come up in the search results this video is gonna be all about that so if you want your pages to come up more, if you want more visitors if you want more traffic to your website you're gonna to want to watch this to the very end don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video or if I go live guys SEO is so important but I know it seems really complicated right uh, some of these things that they tell you to do for SEO are way complicated in this video it's not in this video I'm gonna calm down I'm gonna make it simple I'm gonna show you all the steps you need to go through so you can start getting more results and more visitors to your website now let's talk about what SEO really is it is search engine optimization it's not about tricking Google to get people to go to your page that's the last thing you want to do you want to be totally honest and transparent because they have a thing called bounce rate and if you send people to your page and they go to your page and it's not what they want they immediately leave if you have a high bounce rate on your page Google is not going to want to send people to your page so we want to be totally honest and transparent when we're doing SEO now let's talk about why it's so important SEO is very very important to any and all businesses and the reason being is it's free traffic you know you're getting people to come to your site and you're getting people involved in whatever your business is, services and it's free so if we can do this properly it is immensely important it'll save you a lot of time money and hassle if you set up your site properly now yes SEO can be very very difficult it can be very technical however if you're already using WordPress the things I'm going to show you in this video you can do you can do it it's not hard this is simple stuff and the results are enormous if you follow the steps I'm going to give you in this video now here's a scary thing <laughs> WordPress automatically comes with a button that you can click to hide your website from search engines we don't want to do that so the first thing we got to do is check our website this is how we do it you want to log into your admin area of your WordPress site and visit the settings reading page you see that right here okay um, you need to scroll down to the search engine visibility section and make sure that the box next to discourage search engines from indexing the site is unchecked okay you want that unchecked right there um, don't forget to click on save changes and I've done this many times I've done, I've done like things to my WordPress website and I forget to click the save changes uh, if you don't do that it won't store your changes nothing's gonna happen um, using an SEO friendly URL structure in WordPress is the next thing I want to talk to you about okay on the screen now are some examples of SEO friendly URLs uh, I chose to pick WP beginner because I think that's a great site you know the guy that has it and he has a lot of good information so why not give him some free press here um, but you can see the two differences here notice that these URLs are readable and a user can guess what they will see on the page <clears throat> just by looking at the URL you know you can tell install WordPress uh, WordPress errors you can see it right there so what does a non SEO friendly URL look like well here you go uh, WP beginner and it's got all these numbers and letters and examples and all that notice that the URLs are numbers unrelated to the content and a user cannot guess what they will find on the page by looking at it using SEO friendly permalink structure improves your chances of getting better positions in search results here is how you can check and update your WordPress permalink structure okay so I want you to take a look at this you need to visit settings and then permalinks page select the post name option and then click on save changes button to store your settings you can see that right here very simple to do no if your website has been running for more than six months then please don't change the permalink structure unless you're using the numbers option if you're using day and name or month and name continue using that by changing your permalink structure on an established site you will lose all of your social media share accounts and run the risk of losing your existing SEO rankings so if you must change your permalink structure then hire a professional so that they can set up proper redirects and you'll still lose your social share accounts on the pages though okay so if you're just starting out with your website you need to decide are you going to use www dot or non www dot um, you have to pick one and stick with it if you don't the search engines will consider your site two different sites so you don't want that to happen so let's check out how we can do that now you can set your preference by visiting settings 
general page and add your preferred URL in both the WordPress address and the site address field. You see that right there. Okay. Despite what someone else may say from an SEO standpoint, there's no advantage to using one or the other. Now I happen to like WWW, but that's just what I do. Now, the cool thing about WordPress is it's been around for years and it's huge. So there's a plugin for everything. Uh, and there is a plugin for SEO and I'm going to tell you about a couple of them, uh, but I prefer Yoast. So let's check this out. Uh, instead of installing separate plugins for individual SEO tasks, um, I'll help you choose the best WordPress SEO plugin that does it all for you. And it's hundred percent free, which is nice. Uh, when it comes to choosing the best WordPress SEO plugin, you will most likely narrow your choices down to the two most popular solutions, which is an all in one SEO or Yoast SEO. All in one SEO is an original WordPress SEO plugin that's used on over 3 million sites. Uh, it comes with powerful features like true SEO, on page analysis, rich snippets, schema markup, uh, social media integration, breadcrumb navigation, advanced e commerce SEO. Um, so, simply put, it will handle everything that you need for your technical SEO optimization. Now, the next thing you want to do is add your XML sitemaps. This helps the search engines actually navigate your site. So, let's check this out. All right, here's an example right here. Um, an XML sitemap is specially formatted file that lists every single page on your website. This makes it easy for search engines to find all the content that you have. When you're adding this XML sitemap, um, it does not boost your site search ranking. Okay. I don't want you to think that, but it does help search engines find the pages quickly and start ranking them. So you're really going to get a jump on SEO. If you're using AIO SEO plugin, then it will automatically generate an XML sitemap for you. Um, to find your sitemap, all you have to do is go to this URL right here. Okay. And don't forget to replace the example with your own website. Okay. Add your site to Google search console. This is the next thing you need to do guys. Google search console, also known as webmaster tools is a set of tools that is offered by Google to give website owners a look at their content and is seen by the search engines. Uh, it's going to give you reports and data, help you understand how your pages appear and the results. Um, you'll also get to see the actual search terms people are using to find the website, uh, which is really helpful because you can use more of those terms. So that's one thing I would recommend. Once you've added your website to Google search console, click on the site map from the left menu and paste the last part of the site map URL. You can see right here where I've done that. Uh, you want to click on the submit button to save your changes. Google search console will now check your site map and use it to improve your website's crawling. Once you have successfully added your site map, it's going to appear as a pending in the beginning. Uh, it does take Google a little bit of time to find your website. And after a few hours, you should be able to see some stats about your website. Uh, it'll show you the number of links it found in your website, how many of them got indexed, a ratio of images and web pages, that type of thing. Uh, I do recommend that you check your search console at least on a monthly basis for gathering insights onto your SEO progress. Uh, along with Google search console, you should also use any type of insights that are available to you. The next thing I'll tell you is you want to make sure you optimize um, your post and your blog post with SEO. A lot of people make the mistake of not doing that. Uh, once you've put a post up there, you want to, you know, almost all of these SEO things will allow you to put the right title and description in there. So let's check this out real quick. Uh, when writing your blog post, simply scroll down to the SEO section and take full advantage of it. Okay. Very important that you do that. Uh, you can see it right here. If you're wondering how to choose a focus keyword or focus key phrase, uh, what's a good title, you know, what's the good meta description. Um, then you can find videos on my channel about that, where you can actually learn how to do that. But I highly recommend you watch some of those videos because your on page SEO is crucial for your success. Uh, many beginners use their best guesses <laughs> to figure out what topics where people are looking for. And you don't need to do that. It's already been figured out for you. Uh, it's like shooting an arrow in the dark. You don't need to do that when you can just use real data and figure it out. Um, there's a ton of keyword search tools. Uh, there's free ones, there's paid ones. Um, you know, I like SEM rush. Here's a screen capture of that. Uh, and it's going to help you discover keywords and find out more keywords, uh, that your competitors are also ranking for. So you can rank for those too. Now there are WordPress best practices. And I want to touch upon that real quick. The way WordPress is set up is they want you to use 
keywords okay or tags and they want you to use categories categories actually help the search engines understand your website a little bit better uh, and they can direct more visitors to your website if you have it categorized correctly so i want you to think of it this way let's say you had a personal blog uh, and you would add categories such as travel uh, dining out uh, family reunions whatever it is and that way people could look through that and figure out what they want now tags are a little bit different tags actually talk about what's in that actual blog so it may be the name of a restaurant that you ate at so these are more like child categories i'm going to also suggest that you use internal linking uh, and what that means is i may write a blog post about you know why you should store canned meats we own a survival site and there's the url right there you can check it out uh, we own survival food site you may be talking about canned foods in there then i may put a link in there about the canned foods going to our canned foods so that people can actually go there and buy that product so that internal linking is also very important next thing you want to do is optimize all the comments on your website um, that means actually keeping spam out uh, a lot of times spammers will put comments in there with links to other websites and that's going to hurt your website's seo so you want to use something like a kismet uh, which actually comes with every installation of wordpress uh, and that will keep that spam type of comment out of there you want to add if, if somebody comments on a post on your site you need to respond okay they're trying to say hey i want to communicate with you uh, i see it all the time also on youtube because i do youtube videos you're watching one right now but people will put comments on a video and uh, you'll see shortly that nobody puts comments on their videos because they're never responding so you want to respond to every single comment you get in there i know it's work and if it was easy everybody would do it okay it's work you got to do it if you can't do it hire somebody to do it but you've got to respond to every comment now a lot of times i like to respond to a comment and ask another question somebody may say hey i liked your video on seo and a wordpress website is there anything else that you would recommend and i may say yeah i recommend this 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 and this do you already have a website so what i've done now is now i've asked them another question and asked them to respond again and the more comments i get on there the higher ranking that video is going to be same thing on your website your wordpress website the more comments you get on there the more interaction that google's going to see and send more traffic your way so there's a lot of things more you could do but these are the basics for seo in your wordpress website i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it put a comment below ask me a question you know, I'll probably ask you one back, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I do have a free course down below. It's click and learn, no credit card required. So you can opt in for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, turn all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.